for me, it, it doesn't exist that one warm up. Mm. It's many, many ways to warm up. Mm. But we, we should follow no one way to warm up. We should follow a principle more than a specific notes or way. A principle which is don't force anything in the very beginning. You know, relax and and let the the production of sound start to get it as relaxed as possible and, and, and simple and, and organic as mm. possible mm. without forcing anything and let the air do the job in the beginning. Don't force any muscle, you know. And take time to warm up. Don't do it in a hurry. Mm. First thing is you should be relaxed. Relax. Don't 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 do any tension or anything, especially in the beginning of your warming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the muscle have to get uh, ready to support the mouthpiece, you know. I've been doing for years. The, well, the, one of the a book, Lois Maggio book, which I have a very simple warm up. The old timers always say something which is very, very interesting. Never practice, always perform. And when you're practicing, even the simple things, you should try to get the best sound possible out of your horn. Mm -hmm. Even a simple, a simple and single note. Be sure that that note has all the harmonic and all the resonance of, you know, the, of the best core of the note itself. Try always to get a big sound. I'm not talking about volume. I'm talking about the the tone should be thick, fat, mm. fat sound, thick, big, without forcing or without playing loud. And now I was I was playing extremely relaxed and soft, very very soft. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a little louder. Okay. But without changing the color. One thing which I call the cloning notes. <laughs> Something I put it together, an idea that I have for, for years. I, I always start with the F, F uh, concert, G of the second line, as a, as a guide, as a sample. And then you spend 
long time only with that note in all kind of articulation all kind of volumes something like that Until you hear that, <clears throat> that note sound, and you get the best sound out of that note. When you feel that, and then you start to add half a step up, mm -hmm. always going back to the G as a sample to clone that sound, mm -hmm. and then half step down. And then you go in both directions, but always going back to the G as a sample wow. to clone that sound. Mm. And when you hear they're equal, and then go to F sharp. And then in the end, you will notice when you do the scale. It's a uniform a sound. The whole uniform time. Yeah. sound. That's Almost like how a piano player each key. That's the idea. Is, yeah, nice, that's nice. the idea. That's the idea. It's a consistency. Consistency. And then when you play the melody or something, you will notice that every note. My one, my trumpet teacher, Yuan Racy, the late great, great Yuan Racy, always uh, say during one hour lesson, he mentioned three words couple of hundred times sound finesse and reverence mm. no in that order not necessarily in that order reverence sound finesse finesse reverence sound he always won you produce the best note and and pay pay reverence to every note with a lot of respect. Uh -huh. And when you made a melody, uh -huh. 